Murphy, and we are about to drop that scotch pine you see in the background there. The tree has a fairly significant side lean there, and there's service lines going to the house. You have to be careful of them. So I've wanted to show, use this as a good tree to demonstrate the retainer line or guy line. We have two lines set in this tree. We have one pull line, which we're going, which is uh, set in the top of the tree. We're going to use that, pull the, use the ch chipper wench to pull that. And then there's a second line to the right there that goes out to the, to the scotch pine on the right side there. That's tightened up. And what that'll do, that'll, that's, that'll be, that's set on a 90 degree angle to the direct, desired direction of fall. And that'll prevent the tree that there's no way that, that the hinge can break and fail. That'll definitely guide the tree down into the desired drop zone. Scotch pines particularly has a very weak hinging ability. So I had to be extra careful on this one. I could have brought the bucket truck in and took it, taken it down a piece at a time, but this way is going to be faster. It's also a good way to demonstrate this technique. So let's go take a look. Okay, this is our guy line. We set it up, it's nice and tight. It's a three to one Z rig. It's at a 90 degree angle to our direction of fall. So it'll prevent that tree from heading off towards those service lines. And uh, again, the tree has a pretty significant side lean. It's a scotch pine, very poor hinging tree. Uh, so with this guy line, I feel comfortable and, and a good notch and back cut. I feel comfortable that the tree will come down in the desired direction of fall. Zero percent chance that it'll take those wires out, those service lines out to the house. In this shot, it was very hard to see the guy line against the background. So we highlighted it with a red dotted line for your viewing pleasure. I'll also combine this actually with a tapered hinge. The tapered hinge is used to fall side leaning trees. Here's a photograph of a cherry stump that I used the tapered hinge to fall. We're going to examine the, the fibers of, of the hinge there to show you what exactly happened. Here you can see the shaded area on the trunk is where the notch was made. The desired direction of fall was perpendicular to the notch. And the tree had a strong side lean to the top of the screen as per the yellow arrow. And here you can see the back cut, which I used to make the hinge much wider on the side away from the lean. So there's more fibers of the hinge on the side away from the lean, which gives the, the hinge more control to fight the side lean. So the tapered hinge is made by setting up a normal notch, pointing in the direction of fall, the, des the desired direction of fall, and just angling the bar when making the back cut so that the hinge is wider on the side away from the lean as per the diagram. For more information on the tapered hinge see my article called Greater Falling Accuracy Using the Tapered Hinge in Tree Care Industry Magazine's issue from July of 2004. And we've also set up the, the, the uh, measurement for the height of the tree which I'll show you in a minute. Okay this is called the stick trick and it's one way to get a very accurate determination on the height of the tree, where exactly that drop zone is going to be. You can see we have the dogwood tree behind me. I have the sidewalk in front of me. There's a house back here. We've got a scotch pine, whatever that is, 60 feet or so. Here's how I'm going to measure the tree. I've got the notch cut. I'm going to use the rake and what's called the stick trick. Put the end of the rake right on my cheekbone and my hand, arm fully extended. Then I just drop the rake let it hang straight up in my hand, and I'm going to use my line of sight. The top of my hand should go right on the notch, and then I merely, while that's in place, I merely walk back and forth to where the top of the rake is directly pointing at the top of the tree. And wherever I'm standing, that's where the that's where the tree is going to hit. We'll get a little mark here, probably right about there. I was concerned that the tree was too tall and it was going to damage that little dogwood tree on the other side of the sidewalk, so I cut the notch high in order to shorten the length of the fall. Okay, you can see this was the estimated uh, length of the tree here from the, from the notch. I ended up walking it off, it was 66 feet to the notch, like three feet overestimated fairly accurate. I also tend to overestimate this. It gives me a little bit of leadway, a little bit of play, which I like. So you can see the tree came down very nicely. If it had been long enough, it would have maybe hit the dogwood tree, but not enough to do much damage. Just the very tips would have grazed it. So altogether, it was a great fall. 
using a combination of techniques, the retainer, guy line, the tapered hinge, and the stick trick to estimate the height of the tree. Hope you've enjoyed it. Daniel Murphy, thank you very much for watching.